Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will explain about type checking. Okay, so one of the important question in compiler design. Let us see the definition. Type checking is the process of verifying that types of all variables, expressions, functions are according to the rules of programming language. Okay, so First to definition chudandi. type checking is the process of verifying that types of all variables. So we are going to verify the variables, expressions and functions. Okay. So according to the rules of programming languages means when you use C language, when you use C++, when you use Java, according to the programming languages rules, the type checking will be performed. Okay. So one of the most important point, please remember. Type checking is performed at semantic analysis. So we have six phases are there in a compiler. First one is the lexical, second one is the <coughs> syntax, third one is the semantic. So third phase of the compiler will perform the type checking. Okay. So let us move. So this is the diagram for type checking okay so is the position of type checker okay so parser type checker intermediate code generator okay so what is mean by this parser so this is called actually it will be generated by uh, what we call uh, syntax analysis okay so first one is the lexical second one is the syntax analysis parser nothing but syntax analysis so after completion of parser, the data will be sent to the type checker. Means it is going to perform the checking the type of the data. Then it will send to the after completion of everything is good. It will send to the intermediate code generator for a representation. Okay. So remember basically there are two types of checkings are there. First one is called as static checks. Second one name on dynamic checks. So in static checks, we have four types are there. Type check, the flow of control checks, checks for uniqueness, name related checks. Okay. So first one name on type check. Second one flow of control checks. Third one checks for uniqueness. And fourth one name related checks. Okay. So first one is the static checks. Okay. So in the type checking, there are two types are there. First one is the static checks. Second one is the dynamic checks. Okay. Sorry, static checks. Static type checking is process where the compiler checks the type of variables and expressions during compilation before program runs. Okay. So static checks contain an it is a process where the compiler checks the types of variables and expressions during the compilation. Okay. So there are two things are there. First one is called as compile. Second one is called as a running. So static checks always performed at a compile time before program runs. Okay. So manaki the first one and time type check. Okay. So there are four things are there. First one is a type check. Second one is a flow of control. Third one is a checks for uniqueness. Fourth one is the name related checks. So first one we will discuss. Chuda Moksar, first one. What is mean by type check? Okay. When an operator is applied to incompatible operand, the compiler should report the error. Okay. So what is the first static type checking that is called as type check when operator is applied to incompatible operand. Okay. The compiler should report the error. Okay. There is some example is there int x equal to 5 float y is equal to hello. So type mismatch. So in this we are going to get the error at the compile time. So this program is actually let us say C language. So when you press Alt F9, 
you are going to get the error because int x 5 so 5 is integer no problem float y is equal to hello so hello and the intent actually hello is not float this is the actually a string value it is actually string okay so when i say x equal to x plus y so i am going to can we add 5 plus hello no so this is called as what we say type check okay so this is called as adding int and string is invalid let us move on to second one so second one is flow of control check statements that transfer controls like break continue must have valid destination compiler checks whether control flow statements appear in proper places okay so second one is the flow of control so what is going to be happened inside the flow of control so remember one of the most most important point break outside while or for switch will give the error so always you should give the break inside the while and for loop or switch statements only so you can add on the statement that transfer the control must have valid destination okay so the compiler checks whether the control flow statements appear in proper places so the proper places and 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 first one is the while second one is the for third one is the switch okay so me kardam kavadaniki i will give one more example for this uh, flow control check so i will give one example for the flow control check so you see break outside the while or for switch will give the error so you can see now my fun this is called as a method or function so open bracket close bracket so there is some data is there inside the method but i wrote break inside the method it will give the error because we could not write break inside method so without having while for a switch okay so without this one we cannot write a break so it will give the static okay so at the time of compilation only will get the error second one is my function while if break open and close so remember this won't give the error because we wrote the break inside some control statements so while if okay so this is called as what we say flow of control checks so let us move on to third one to do third one chudamandi so what is third one third one is the uniqueness checks so uniqueness checks make sure that same things appear only once in a program okay so uniqueness ante entandi make sure that uh, only once in a program so you should appear only once in a program no duplicates allowed every item must be unique and it should be appear only one time so meek easy ga ardham kavadaniki oka chinna example adi ikkada teeskunnanu example 1 case labels so can we use labels like this case 1 case 1 not allowed because you should give unique number so this is called as what we say uniqueness checks so again it will be performed at compile time ekkada perform chestam ante it will perform at compile time so example 2 so default default can we write two defaults in switch no so this is called as a error at compile time so let us move on to fourth one fourth one is the name related checks in this compiler checks whether two identifiers have same name in the same scope okay a variable is declared before use no redefinition in same black okay so ikkada em antunnadi two identifiers have same name in the same scope oka vela ganaka rendu identifiers same unna ile oka sari check chestundi so this is called as name related checks so let us see one example int a we declared int a 
again we declared one more int a okay so it will cause the error this is called as name related checks okay enduku mari error vastundi because already we created int a again there is no need to declare int a so this is called as name related checks okay so it's all about the static type checking ippudu ok sari dynamic type checking aithe chudamu so what is mean by dynamic type checking dynamic type checking is the type checking during the program execution okay okay so now you can see this uh, dynamic checks is performed at uh, during the program execution okay so chudandi ok sari ikkada common dynamically typed languages are javascript python and php okay so dynamic type languages ante entante run time lo manaku errors ekku vacheti javascript lo python and php most of the languages used both static and dynamic type checking so most of the languages will use static and dynamic type checking kakapothe manaki especially ga javascript python php will use this is dynamic type checks okay so now we'll see the example for dynamic checks okay so means at the run time at the time of run time we are going to give the error ok sir ikkada chudandi there is a one example is there x is equal to 10 x equal to hello okay so what is the value of x initially 10 x equal to hello so first is 10 second one is hello means i replaced the value 10 with hello print x plus world so what is the value of x x is hello plus plus means this is called as concatenation okay so x is hello this is world so the final answer is hello world there is a no error in this program but if you see here you can see now x is equal to 10 x is equal to hello print x plus 5 so here here also x plus here also x plus but here it is going to add addition because when you this give this uh, double quotes string so this is called as a concatenation so this is called as a addition so it will give the run time error because of uh, x plus 5 so what is the last value of x hello plus 5 it will give the error because we cannot add anything to the string okay so it's all about the type checking okay so thank you for watching this video please subscribe if you want notes uh, you can ask me okay thank you